What's up, party people? Never follow news network coming at you live and not so live. Just wanted to talk about birthdays and weddings um, and how much money we spend on that and how we can cut that out easily and just have money coming out of college to actually buy a home immediately and not have to pay it off. Just buy it, you know. So a kid's birthday party at one years old is $400 average. That's what we spend in the United States. And that's just the parents. That's not the people who bring gifts. That's not all the, you know, gas that it takes to get there, the time and all that stuff. So immediately, right away, we're selling that we're special for some reason, like, yay, kids, when we have 8 billion people on earth and it's growing like at a crazy rate, like a virus. So it's like a celebrated thing. We celebrate birth which is the propaganda to get them to buy corporate stuff. Look at all this corporation stuff boxed up for the, you know, already. Oh, yay. The kids are all happy. You got a Batman. And that's great, man. Like, if that's what you want, cool. No one's going to shit on you for it. Do your thing. But my point is it's a lot of money. So the people who don't have a lot of money don't feel like you have to compete with this corporate stuff, dude. You're going to be much happier once you get your own stuff in place that you own. And then you can afford all this stuff if you really want it. That's what's up. Instead of getting this stuff first right away at one years old for the kid where they just get you, wait. You know, you'll be able to get them a lot more like their own house at 18. You know, off-grid house because you didn't pay for a, a gigantic house that temporarily housed them for a few years. So... Anyway, that's kids' birthday parties. Here's an adult birthday party, $1,422.65. So that is food, drinks, when you get together with your friends. Cool. If you want to do that, I get it. But birthdays are the propaganda to make us feel special. I don't celebrate my birthday at all. I don't care about it. There's 365 days in a year, and there's 8 billion people on Earth. So only 365 different birthdays and 8 billion people. That's, I'm not special at all. The day that I do something revolutionary in this world that someone decides, hey, we should name a day after this guy, then that's when people should celebrate me. Until then, I'm just another fucking ant on this planet. That's honestly how I look at it. So when I look at a guy, just for instance, Martin Luther King, okay? Martin Luther King, that guy did great things. He has a day named after him. So we can celebrate Martin Luther King because that guy put his neck in front of every, for everyone to try to really change the game. So people like that, I'll celebrate their birthdays. Chief Sitting Bull, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. The people who've really made change in the country and were, you know, really standing up against oppression. Those are the people who I think deserve celebration. And oppression comes in all different forms. It's not just cops beating up people at all. There's a bunch more behind that. So anyway, I don't celebrate birthdays. If you want to do this, go for it. No one's going to try to change you. The propaganda ha is everywhere to drink beer and drink liquor and cannabis bad. But if you want to go spend this, no one's going to tell you not to. Go for it. Uh, I'm not you know, going to shit on you or think you're a, a lame person if you want to celebrate your birthday. You know, if it's part of what you need to get through every year, I get it. Um, but this is amount of money, dude, like make people pay for their own stuff or whatever. You don't need to spend your own money for this to try to impress people, dude. Like money isn't going to impress people like real people of the salt and the earth don't, don't, uh, most people are probably look at the end of a birthday party and go, wow, did you see how like extravagant it was and how much money and blah, blah, blah. Like I started to realize when I had to go to $500 dinners with my wife's friends that it was time to stop. So these birthday party things, like when we do great things, celebrate us until when we realize we're not that special. And that what we think isn't that great and we should start listening to people who really have dedicated their lives to being great, then we'll, we'll be in a better place because we can always get better. Everybody, even if you don't have money, if you watch this channel and connect with me, we'll help you be great. So that's those two things. And then weddings do 28,000, boom, 14,000 per person if 
the male and female are paying for it or the male and male or the male and partner or whatever female and partner or whatever it is these days whoever is getting married if you're splitting it in two it's fourteen thousand dollars per person this is half of the home this literally if you put this towards a home this right here would be half of a home paid down done so that you would not have to make another payment for like 15 years seriously you have more than half of the home paid off these days and when you have land a tiny building works a small building works because you have land you're not in an apartment where you walk outside and there's 400 eyes on you you have a big piece of land where you can walk out and just enjoy being outside for most of the day being underneath a tree, being underneath an umbrella, it's the same as being inside, man. And you prefer it, you know, when you're stuck in an office all day. So $28,000, dude, you can cut this down hugely by just, if you get a party planner, don't tell them it's a wedding at all. Just say, no, this is a party. We're going to film, we're doing a video to film a wedding. You know what I mean? And they will literally charge you cheaper amount of money. But just don't even get a party planner. It's not that hard to plan a wedding. You can keep it simple. You know, piece it out. Don't let the party planner upcharge you. You know what I mean? It's really not that hard. If stuff goes wrong, who cares? Everyone wants things to be perfect. And it's just, you know, it's the princess dream and all this stuff that they sell people. That people need in one day to spend $28,000, dude, for pictures. Like, are you kidding me? It's crazy. It's just crazy, dude. Like, honestly, I don't, I really like you look at Facebook. I don't know anyone who really goes back and like posts their wedding photos. They may post them like on the day, get some clicks and likes and that's it. And it's done. And that costs $28,000 for like that. And just look at it. It's like, let's get dressed up and do this whole facade thing for one day instead of just going I love you, you love me, we're married. Let's go spend money on a home instead of this one day facade. So, weddings, wow. So anyway, that's a Never Fall News short coming at you um, about weddings and birthdays and how much money it costs every year. And if you stop doing this, you know, you'll save, you'll have a house. <laughs> All right, Never Fall News, signing off.